All right, so we're gonna show a little spectrum analysis of uh, using a spark gap in between the secondary and the iron pipe. Um, this is uh, towards a replication of uh, these circuits in the Colorado Springs notebook. I'm not sure if you can see those very well. But uh, particularly, he started using a spark gap in between here, um, like in this diagram. So I used a xenon. Um, and uh, so just for reference, we're gonna show the amp draw and spectrum analysis. Um, <clears throat> now this is in the megahertz range, but we're just gonna show if it's interfering and making radio waves. So turn it on, we're at our 0.5. Um, this is the difference, so system's on, system's off. System on, system off, right? So we're making a little bit of radio waves and they're producing a lot of harmonics. So now turn the system off and we'll move this to that one electrode. So now we have a spark in between, right? Cool. So we turn it on and we notice there's no power and there's no spark. So we gotta get it into resonance. See, right when the breakdown happens. So there's a glow discharge and power. So, right, a little bit of glow. So here's our glow discharge with power being used, right? So it's not a total spark. Um, so this leans more towards uh, these diagrams. Um, for truly wireless, so there's no direct connection to Earth now, but we'll see when we get it to break down. Right? We get a lot more power transfer. Um, so yeah, there's the spark in between, right? And there's our spectrum analysis with the spark. Totally different. So off, it's on right now. That's the glow discharge and we'll see what happens when we get the spark to happen. There it goes. So we get a lot of harmonics generated doing it this way. Um, I don't think that the, uh, the radio people will like this very much. But then uh, I noticed that you can get into certain types of resonance where Hmm. Well, I, I got it to a point where I noticed there wasn't any spark, but there's still power. So right around here, right? There's nothing. And there's very little power being transferred, but we're pulling very little. So then I kind of thought of this more, and I thought maybe this is, the other end's kind of acting as a capacitance here. So I got this big air capacitance and we'll hook that up to the hot side of the coil and we'll see what happens to the light. Oh, well, we, we also got our spark to happen. So, hmm. Now we have a capacitance and we have more power and lower amperage. You can see that it's, it's not really consistent either. The light flickers. It's uh, it's kind of weird. And we'll, we'll play with the frequency. Um, but I noticed that so now there's no spark at all, and we have light, and that's with the capacitance added. We'll take it off, and we get our our spark to happen. So, um, and you know, our, it's going crazy. So this is without the, with, with the capacitance, without, with, without. So we get a little difference. Um, now we're just gonna totally remove the earth connection and we get light still. And uh, so now this is pretty much the arrangement. Um, I'm in the basement, so maybe this air capacitance is acting as a capacitance with the ground, because uh, 
the walls here are cement and they all have electricity from the earth in them so uh, that might be going on but this is moving towards this is the replication of uh, this type of arrangement where you have not a direct connection to earth and you still get power um, which is cool so you know I don't really know what's going on but this would be using one of his transmitters that's not connected to ground to power a receiving coil and that's the spectrum right um, it's pretty clean we'll put up the frequency and watch the amp draw and this is when it hits continuous wave so there's no damped waves. It goes right into continuous is when this happens. So, uh, yeah, you can chew on that. Um, I'm going to be thinking about it a lot. So, uh, any feedback is much appreciated. This would be the arrangement that's working right now, where the transmitter is not grounded. It's just a big capacitive coupling to Earth and power. So... Yeah, thanks for watching.